Well, hello again and welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metalworking in France. Uh, I've got a little job on today, it's a very small job. Uh, I've got a dozen of these things to just machine up. I just want to face off each, each end of this thing. Um, and then what I'll do, uh, I've got to put a, a bigger chamfer, a leading edge on one end. And from the other end, I've got to drill a hole, 15 millimeter diameter into here and it's only got to be 45 millimeter deep uh, and all 12 of them have got to be the same ideally so and they don't want to be any more than 45 mil and that's to the actual base of the of the hole not including the cone on the end of the drill so uh, it's a you know quite an easy little job really but uh, first thing i've got to do is make myself uh, um, a, like a guy a stop to to put on the drill so that I can go in the same depth on each one. You'll see how I do that in, in the next couple of frames. Okay, so follow me and see how we get on with this. Right, well, what I've made here is uh, basically just a, a steel ring with a, a grub screw in it. Uh, and all I'll have to do is just, I'll set this to the right depth uh, on the drill, um, wiggle it around a little bit so that the grub screw bites into the flute on the drill so that it can't move. So that'll be fine, that should do the job quite nicely. As you can see, I'm using soft jaws here. I've got a step in them basically so that uh, all these pieces can be the same length. Um, what you see I'm doing here, I've just put a center drill in so that I can start the drilling process as soon as possible. Well here you can see I'm drilling, or well, I'm putting a pilot drill in basically. A smaller drill than the, the than the 15 mil. It's about 10 or 11 mil. Just so that I can get the hole in uh, not a bit easier basically. Putting a 15 mil drill in straight away is, uh, it's, it's quite, a, it'll be quite a hard work. So uh, this will just keep it, you know, so that I get a nice clean hole. When I put the 15 mil drill in, it'll make a much nicer or neater looking hole, a cleaner hole. A um, bit difficult to explain really, it's a, a technical term, it'll just be cleaner. Okay, so that, that's, go, that's gone in quite well. I've speeded this up a little bit so that uh, it uh, doesn't take too long. So now you can see I'm using the 15 millimeter drill. Uh, it's going in quite nicely. As you can see, I have my homemade depth gauge on it. Uh, I'm using plenty of coolant on this uh, just to make sure that this, it's a nice clean hole um, without too many, it's not too rough inside. And I just take it in until the, the depth gauge touches the, the well, basically till the, it touches the face on, on the, uh, the piece of steel. Uh, once I get to the end there, that's, then that will be the correct depth for this hole. So, um, yeah, it's, it's going in quite well. Um, cutting quite nicely, nice sharp drill, so that uh, plenty of swarf. As you can see, I'm having to pick the swarf away because it uh, it can get a little bit tangled up into the depth gauge itself. So uh, the purist might say that I shouldn't be putting my fingers near the chuck, but um, I'm, I'm not getting anywhere near the actual working part of the chuck. So uh, it's not too bad, I'm, I'm getting there quite nicely. That's looking quite good. There we are, nice clean hole. So now what I'm going to do is put the chamfer on. So I'm using an angled uh, lathe tool here. I've put the the bar end or the piece of steel into the uh, soft jaw chuck so that uh, it's up against the stop. I've also set the stop on the lathe bed itself so I can just gently wind the, the, the uh, well the bed of the lathe in so that all these uh, pieces will all have exactly the same chamfer on them. Well, there we are. There's all 12 of them done. Uh, as you can see, I've got a quite a large chamfer on one end and the hole in the other end. So, uh, yeah, they're all done. Nice little job, actually. Uh, it was a bit time consuming, but uh, overall, fairly easy job to do. 
Well, there you go, another little job complete. Uh, quite pleased with that job actually in the end. It went, went rather, yeah, nice and smooth. A um, little bit tricky, making sure I'd, I've got the holes the right depth. Um, but yeah, a customer will be happy with that. Um, if, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to make any comments you, you want to make. And uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my site. And I hope you enjoyed the video and look out for more in the future. In the meantime, I'll bid you farewell. Goodbye.